demonstrating how important immigrants are to the American economy. They are staying home from work today for a day without immigrants. And several rallies are happening in cities across the nation. And in Portland, several businesses are closed today because of the protests. Now, Trevor Alt is in Beaverton speaking with business owners. He joins us live with details. Trevor. Good afternoon, Ken and Jenny. I'm outside BG Plaza. Inside here is a business incubator. It helps immigrant entrepreneurs get their businesses off the ground. And inside are a number of immigrant business owners who would normally be at work right now, but they gathered here and I talked with a number of them on their day off protesting about how important they believe this message is. They, they think that we're not impacted. We are big impact. Eric Caravantes owns Ka Market and Carniceria inside Portland Mercado. He's also a Guatemalan immigrant. I think if we all immigrants stay together and we communicate each other, we can make these uh, changes. Eric's market was one of several Portland businesses to remain closed Thursday for the Day Without Immigrants protest. Isabel Restaurant in the Pearl District posted a message underneath their closed sign showing solidarity with their workers. Revolution Coffee House downtown did the same. While we were there, we saw a passerby leave a note of support writing, you belong here on a post-it. It's the first time that we as a community can actually unite and make a statement. Edgar Navas is a Mexican immigrant and an entrepreneur. He told me he's proud of how immigrants contribute to what makes America great. What we want to show is like the actual impact that we have when, you know, when we're not around. Juan Rogel organized a big portion of the Portland businesses participating in this protest, and he thinks this is step one of what will be four years of resistance. And it's uh, the four years of Donald Trump presidency, and I think we're going to have, to, we need to take a lot of action. Well, you just heard that last man, Juan, talk about how they're going to be organizing a lot of action over the next four years. And one way they're going to try to do that is they are forming what they're calling the Latino Business Resistance Alliance. And the goal of that will be to help all of these immigrant business owners, specifically Latino business owners, band together while they endure what they are telling me is a very fearful and sometimes even hostile national environment. Reporting live in Beaverton, Trevor Alt, Coin 6 News.